Welcome back to Final Fantasy 13 2. Last time, I guess you could say I cheesed the game to beat the first bot boss battle, because I'm sure it's just the first, against Caius. But hey, I mean, I was not beating him without cheesing. So, it, it was either a cheese, and by that, I mean turn the difficulty down, because the game lets you do that, or just grind. And I didn't want to grind. I don't think you want me to grind. So, yeah. But I turned the, the game difficulty back to normal now. And let's ride a chocobo. Surely there's some places to go. Yep. Can I use the Moogle while I'm on the Chocobo? I don't think I could. Gravi Gravitian Core Gamma, the guy I do not recognize, the hero's trail. Hey Sarah, can you hear me? It seems like wherever I go, I leave the, the gravitation or s stuff in my steps. Which you're going to need at some point down the road. Guess that means I should keep walking, even if it doesn't get get me anywhere. Who knows? Maybe you'll hear this message someday through the crystal. At least then, I won't have been talking to myself the whole time. So Sarah. If you're listening, take care and come home safe. Is this snow? I think this is snow. Holy shit. This is kind of like a... Oh. Yeah, this is definitely snow, actually. The Hero's Trail. Damn. Hey, Sarah, can you hear me? Seems like wherever I go, I'll leave this Gravitian ore stuff in my steps, which you're going to need at some points down the road. Guess that means I should be walking... Even if it doesn't get me anywhere. Who knows, maybe you'll hear this message someday through the crystal. At least when I'll at least then I won't have been talking to myself the whole time. So Sarah, if you're listening, take care and come home safe. I shouldn't jump back on. Cause now I'm down to one Gasol Green, and I don't know if there's gonna be anywhere else to to go on a chocobo here. That was like the one area I hadn't been to. 92 percent explored. So there, there are some other areas I haven't been to, but I'm not sure exactly what. I guess this this body of water back. There's an invisible wall there, is it not? Hopefully I'll, f I'll find some more Gasol Greens that won't matter. There's probably some places back here I missed. Can I, can I travel back? I guess I can, but I guess it's not worth it, so... I say let's just carry on here.
appears the same. The same face, the same old voice. But even so, she didn't know me at all. Yes. Well, no questions? Yeah, what do you mean? Yeah, ask questions, Sarah. Ask a lot of questions. Noah's upset about Yo. He wonders why I don't ask him about her. What should I say to him? I think you two are a team. Thanks to Sarah and Noel, a new timeline has been created. When a parallel world is unlocked, the zero in the year is replaced with an X. For example, one XAF is 10 years after the fall of Cocoon, same as 10 AF. But the people have different memories as they've led different lives. You can still return to the original date and location at any time by using the Historia Crux. Let's just carry on here. At the summit of Yashus stands the ruins of the Farsia city Padra. This was the capital of a flourishing civilization storied in the annals of Grand Pulse. Here, the young Hope as time is leading the academy in an effort to learn more about the mysterious Oracle Drive. However, this world is not like the world of 10 AF that Noel and Sarah had visited previously. Things have changed. I see, I feel like it would be better if I went into this world not knowing that. And like it was kind of, like we went back to this world that's more or less the same as the last time we visited Yasha's Massif. But things are not the same. Things are actually different. People are different. And that could be kind of used as a 
used as a twist in the story. Or, or at the very least, just surprising to see. Like, oh shit, this stuff. This is a different timeline. This is, you know, this is. But you know what I'm saying, like, we could have just showed up here and, I, and been like, oh shit, what are we doing back here? Hey, I'll just see. And, but then, like, as we talk to people, we realize, oh shit, some things are different. I guess I've gotten all the chests here, still. It really is the same place. It's just that, uh, people are going to be different. Obviously the eclipse isn't happening.
Hmm. Damn it. I did that hoping. So I think. I'm pretty sure I read that uh, if you finish off enemies with your monsters, special attacks, then that increases the chances of them. of you capturing them. It didn't work out there, but. Also, I only got three stars on the fight, but fuck me, you know. I guess if I had a preemptive strike, that would have really helped my chances of getting five stars. Thanks for sh thanks for foreshadowing. I'm 
for my feathers to soak up that good old fight in the deep deep for extra extra fluff. fluff. Oh, oh, Toko Toko Sorry. Sorry. Didn't, didn't there. Didn't see there. Was summoned somewhere. She's not here right now, and, be, and uh, probably Hope's not here right now too. Does everybody just have dogs and cats in this timeline? People, People don't seem to be very interested, interested in this site. I don't, I don't know why the director, director thinks, thinks it's necessary, necessary for us to search this area right, right now. Forever. Forever. The director, the director was, was analyzing, analyzing the device known as the Oracle Drive when he predicted, when he predicted that an important event, event was going to take place here. I'm still, I'm still not completely not convinced that anything's going to happen. I've started investigating the rules nearby. The director seems anxious about something. I feel like, I feel like I'm forgetting something. I feel like I've woken from a dream. I feel like I'm getting, getting something. Why is it so crowded today? Director. Hold up. up. This is a this restricted, is a restricted area. area. There's an There's important, important investigation, investigation going, going on here. The area, the area up ahead, ahead is being excavated, excavated in the hopes of finding something, finding something significant. significant. If you're not, if you're not part, part of the excavation team, team I'm afraid I can't, I can't let you through. through. At, least At least not until, until the area has been calmed thoroughly. thoroughly. If you want to pass through, you need the Academy's consent. The area up ahead is being excavated in the His memories had changed. We had our ten-year reunion all over again, as if our last meeting had never happened. When we explained his memories had changed because the paradox had been dissolved, Hope believed us without question. And then... I have something I want to show you. But she's living somewhere in the future. So it's not just a dream, is it? She's out there. Then I'm going to find her. And you will find her, Sarah. After all, you traveled through time and found me. <laughs> Many years of research have finally borne fruit. 
It all began with the Oracle Drive. We excavated it from ruins many centuries old. Yet it recorded an image of Cocoon, supported on a pillar of crystal. It was an impossibility, an enigma. Impossible, but a reality nonetheless. This is when I learned what I must do. If it was possible to journey through time and look into the future, then it must also be possible to travel backwards and change the past. Right. I wanted to change history, make things better. Not just bring lightning back, but Vanille and Fang and my mother. So that's what your research was about. <laughs> Chasing the impossible, you might say. But you've made me realize something. It's clear to me now we are not the only ones who are intervening in history. The past has already been changed. Sarah, you are the only one who remembers a time when lightning survived the fall of Cocoon. Yeah. Perhaps a continuation of the first report. If this is showing us the future, then someday Cocoon will fall. No, you told me in your time Cocoon didn't exist like it does now. Yeah, it came to ground long before I was born. After it happened, the whole world just fell apart pretty much. But who made it fall? Could it have been Caius? No, he couldn't do that. When is Cocoon supposed to fall? How many years? Is it soon? No, not for a couple of centuries. Oh, that's a long time from now. I mean, none of us will even be alive to see it. <sighs> but others will. Cocoon will fall into Grand Pulse. Imagine the catastrophe. Think how many lives will be destroyed. Right. That's the future I lived in. It doesn't have to happen. No, we can change the future. We can stop Cocoon from falling and make your world a better place. Yeah, but how? You think you can go to the time when it falls and hold it up yourselves? Do you even have a gate to take you there? Well, we... It might not be necessary to travel to the specific time and place. How so? The future depends on what we do now, right? Yes, there is a chance Cocoon will fall, but we can start working now to prevent it from happening. Right. But what if you can't, Hope? We can at least work to mitigate the damage. If we begin our research now, we have time. Then, should Cocoon indeed fall, we can help protect the planet and save the victims. Okay, let's do it. We can try to solve things at the other end in the future. While you start preparing in the here and now, Yes, let's change the future. If you change the future... If you change the future, you change the past. Sarah? It's nothing. Hope, thank you for the help. Time will separate us, but we'll share a common goal. Hope dreamed of changing the past. The weight of history drove him forward. But now... He's turning to face the future. A future even more frightening than the past. Sarah, do you believe too? Do you believe in your own past? Ah, I should have talked to people. Damn it, I should have known. Damn it. Well, let me. I was trying to access the data log. Shit!
I don't know why I care so much, to be honest with you. Just let it go. No. You know, I started this journey hoping to find my sister. But now, I want more. I want to save the future. So do I, sir. So do I. Time to travel again. Find the gate and the key, Koopa. Right now, we don't have a clue what the artifact might be. There's still something. Lightning was fighting in Valhalla. That's where I met her. And that's when she told me to come and find Sarah. I see. Valhalla, otherwise known as the Unseen World. I think Lightning wants us to fix the timeline, put it back how it was. Maybe that's why she gave me the power to travel through time and control monsters. She was unable to do anything on her own, so she turned to the one person she trusted more than anyone. Yes, it is possible, although the idea raises even more questions. How else do you interpret the images shown by the Oracle Drive? You decide to ask Hope. I'm rolling a dice block for this one. One for triangle, two for square, three for circle, four for X, five and six to roll again. One. What do we have to do to find lightning? Solve the paradoxes, correct the timeline. Restore history as it should have been. Then you will find lightning alive. Of that, I'm sure. In that history, does Cocoon stay in the sky? No. You were born into a different future. In our world, in our future, Cocoon survives. When the paradoxes are eliminated, Cocoon remains safe in the sky. You're saying I was born into a future created by the warping timeline? Yes, I believe so. My task is to save Cocoon. And we have to travel across time to protect the future. If we succeed, you'll be reunited with lightning. I guess we know what we have to do. I still find it hard to believe that my memories can just change like that. Yeah, it's pretty scary, isn't it? We've got work to do. Believe in your future. You can bring the people you love together again. Long time no see, but not really. Strange, huh? We changed the future, and that in turn changed the past. But how could that happen? With paradoxes, anything's possible. Until someone from the future peeks inside time, the past remains uncertain. Do you remember talking about that? Paradoxes are space-time entanglements, differing possibilities sealed in a box. When an observer peers into the future and corrects its contradictions, possible past histories collapse into a single timeline. So, solving paradoxes in the future fixes the past to what it should have been. You got it. And it works the other way, too. Twist the future and the whole of space-time backwards and forwards gets bent out of shape. But who changed it in the first place? I still find it hard to believe, though. I'll try to help in any way I can. There's still so much we don't know. Man, I just don't like this. I don't like time travel, this whole game. I just don't like it. Final Fantasy VIII dealt with time travel in the very end of the game. And although I'm not, I don't really like or I don't really love that Final Fantasy VIII Brought, brought in time travel at the end, and Final Fantasy VIII kind of 
does have a little bit of a confusing paradox at the very end of the game after you after you beat the boss because Squall because that Squall defeated Optimisia Optimis, Optimisia weakened and about to die gave her powers to to a Dia to carry on who was there in the past where they were Adia accepted the powers. She was already a sorceress, I think, but she accepted her powers, and in the future, that's what made it to where Ultimisia was able to possess her. Also, Skull did the hand did the uh, like the hand signal thing that Seeds do in front of Adia, so that kind of shows how that came about. Adia did it. She, Squall also gave the idea of Seed. And the whole purpose of seed to the TS, so that, that kind of explains how all that happened in the future. So it's because of Squall meeting Adia in the past that Adia had all the ideas to create seed and, and have the, the purpose of seed and have that seed hand signal. But also because Squall defeated Ultimisia in the past. And she gave her powers to Adia to. She gave her powers to. Her, she gave her powers to Adia to. What's the word I'm looking for? To uh, inherit. Yeah, since she did that, Adia was able to get possessed by Ultimisia in the future. But what started this chain of events? What started this paradox back and forth, back and forth, to begin with? Because Squall only went back to the past, because because oh, he had to go back to the past, because that's where Ultimisia ended up, and he had to find her and finish her off there. And because they were there, that's how Adia got everything she needed for all the, the stuff in the future to happen. And because all the stuff in the future happened, that's how Squall ended up going back into the past to fight Ultimisia. So the point is, how did all this start in the first place? What originally made... Because it kind of... Uh, you see what I'm saying? It's, it's kind of hard to explain, but you see what I'm saying? Adia got all these ideas because of Squall, and she got her, she got possessed because of Ultimisia, because they were in the past, where she was, but they were only in the past because of what happened, because of, because of Ultimisia. See, see what I mean? It's just a mess. Time travel is just a mess. This is why I don't like time travel. This is why I don't like. That's why I messed up Final Fantasy VIII a little bit in the end. It's not a big deal. In Final Fantasy VIII, but it does. There's it, it, it a knock on the story a little bit, and there's some other things in that story that's. There's some other things in 8 Story that bother me a little bit, but all in all, I, I actually I actually like 8 Story, all in all. I hope I left enough food in his it's not one of my favorite Final Fantasy stories, but I like 8 Story. I like things about 8 Story, I like moments in, in the story, I do. Um, I don't mind Squall and his emo-ness, in fact I think Squall is this might be controversial to say, but I think Squall is among a handful of my favorite Final Fantasy characters. I think Squall is my second favorite character in all of Final Fantasy VIII, behind Cypher. And Cypher might be another controversial pick. I just really like Cypher, and I kind of, I kind of shouldn't like Cypher because Cypher's kind of a, he, he's a dick. He sides with the bad guys, but the reason why Cypher sides with the bad guys. It's because I believe he's mind controlled to do so. And I think Cypher was another 
I think at the end of the game, that was a loss of potential. I wish Cypher would have rejoined the party back at the end of the game. Like, I wish somehow he broke out of mind control and he, he rejoins the party. And it would have been the way the eight system is. It would have been perfectly fine for him to do so. Just, just give him, give him some guardian forces. He can, you can attach magic to his stats, increase his stats. He's just as good as anybody. Cyber is kind of a dick, though. He's a big dick to Zell, but, but he does kind of. He does have a soft spot. I think that soft spot should have been explored more. Like, Cypher had some interesting moments, I think, in a... I think, I think they could have done more with them. I do, uh, acknowledge that. Of course, I really like Laguna, too. Laguna's probably a, most people's favorite character of eight. Laguna would probably have to rank third behind Cypher and Squall. I might like Laguna a little bit more than Squall, actually. But yeah, Luna, Laguna's pretty great. I do not know how to get this chest. Ah. Not sure how possible it is. Can I jump off that I bet my baby's missing me. bridge up there? What's wrong? Maybe I need a chocobo to do so. Man, I really don't want to. I mean, I just don't see any way possible for me to be able to get this this treasure on my own. I'm gonna need a chocobo to do it, it seems like some kind of way. The problem is I am I think they just have one Gasol Green left. I hate to waste it here just just to not be able to get this treasure. Oh shit, wait. Damn. But he's definitely reacting to something, but it's nothing I can do. I guess it's something in there. I can't get in there. I'm gonna end up regretting doing this, probably. Yep. Oh shit. Damn. That almost works. But they made it to where it doesn't work.
Damn. Ew. I, I have no idea what to do to get that. Just... I mean, it just seems like there's no way to get in from anywhere. Like, where do you see? Where do you see what I can do to be able to get in? Get in. It won't let me jump over the crates. It won't let me go around the crates from back here. It won't let me jump down. I, I, there's just no way to get it. Well, I tried. Let, let the record show I did try. Important relics have been detected nearby. Who knows? Any one of them might lead to an extraordinary discovery. We've been told to focus heavily on this area. Sources say something valuable may be buried here. Having worked on excavation sites for years, I can pinpoint areas where valuable objects are most likely buried. My gut's telling me that there's some kind of treasure hidden somewhere in this vicinity. Sorcery are being uncovered in the Padra ruins. There was a spell to summon idolins. It was a forbidden art, though, as it shortened the conjurer's lifespan. The people of the past must have lived in fear of, but had respect for, ones who held such powers. If a paradox originates here but is resolved, I wonder if it'll be like nothing ever happened. People are quick to forget the past. Although, even if the paradox disappears, some people are bound to remember. If a paradox originates here but is resolved, I wonder if it'll be like nothing ever happened. People are quick to forget the past. Although, even if the paradox... Guys, he's my choker, but he's just like nice. It's too bad I can't let Mog do his shit when I'm on a choker. That kind of sucks, actually. You obtain the mysterious artifact. And 600 go. Cocoons fall the prophecy. The New Oracle Drive images that Hope shows as the Yachtus Massif. There is a scene that clearly shows Caius causing Cocoon to fall. 
Oracle drives are said to hold the prophecies of the seeress. And if knows and in Noah's world, seven hundred years in the future, Cocoon has already fallen. From these two facts, it is predicted that the crystal pillar will crumble within the next few centuries and send the massive sphere plummeting towards the surface of Pulse. Valhalla. Valhalla is an otherworldly dimension also known as the Unseen Realm. According to, the, to Pulse legend, it is the final resting place of the souls of the dead in the chaotic world where the goddess Etro makes her home. Some theories describe it as a city that exists beyond the flow of time, and others claim it as a future where time has come to a standstill. The Cirrus and of Padra describes it thus, the entire span of time can be seen from Valhalla, but to exert power beyond its borders, one must first open Etro's gate. By the way, I've, I've, I've kind of forgotten about this, but, but that kind of reminded me that I think I think I only got like one report of this, but in Final Fantasy 13, like you can collect, I guess, these reports and read them in the data log. I'm not sure exactly how you collect them, but I, I remember getting one and they like, I guess, had prophecies and such on them. And uh, on the prophecies, you would see like this scholar's name. I think that scholar, because I was when I was uh, doing my when I was looking up stuff and, and watching stuff about thirteen after I finished thirteen, I saw where like that scholar gets brought back up into this game, and that's as far as I know about it. I was watching a, a YouTuber, his name is uh, Clement, his YouTube name is like Clement something, and he, he did this Final Fantasy retrospective talking about all the main title Final Fantasy games. Uh, he replayed them all, I guess more or less did a marathon, like how I'm doing, and he he played them all, and he, he talks about them, and, uh, they're very good videos, and when I say all the main title, main title with Final Fantasy games, I really do mean all of them, so all the ones, 1 through 15, uh, and even 10-2, 13-2, Lightning Returns, and uh, 7 Remake. They're all part of it. 7 Remake was the last one he did. I haven't watched that one yet. But I've watched them all. Like, from Final Fantasy 1 all the way to 13. I've watched them all. Uh, when I, when I've, I didn't know this. I didn't find his channel. I found out about his channel because I was watching... Uh, Pro Jared's and I was watching some call me Johnny's reviews on the Final Fantasy games and at this point in time Pro Jared has reviews for Final Fantasy's 1 through 12 he is I don't know if he's ever going to do 13 because he really despises 13 some call me Johnny did 1 through 7 and he I guess he got burned out after 7 so he's been stopped after that but watching some call me Johnny he uh, gave Clement a shout out in one of his reviews. I think it was for three, actually, for Final Fantasy three. He gave Clement a shout out, and that's that's what led me to discover Clement's channel and his Final Fantasy retrospective. And they're they're pretty good retrospectives. They're really good videos. It's just that they're they can be really long. But they're but hey, if you want to hear somebody talk about 
uh, these Final Fantasy games in great detail. Clement Shaga. Just really good, well executed videos. Shit, I did not mean to get into a fight here. Damn it. Uh, I'm just gonna retry because I basically what I want to do is I just want to run. No, can't really, really. If I wasn't rambling as much as uh as much as I as I have, I could have. Oh my god, the game is really forcing me to fight these things. It's really forcing me to just fight these things. Piece of shit. I don't want to fight them. I d no, please. I'm, I don't want to fight. I don't want to fight. I don't want to fight. No! I can't. I gotta fight them. Fuck this game. I wanted to go ahead and stop the video because This battle takes a long ass time against these assholes. I'm just spinning my necks, that's all I'm gonna do. I don't even know if I should be using Ravenger because I can't. I'm not staggering them. I guess these, okay, there, there was another enemy, I guess it's that black one, that black one probably takes a long time to kill. Yeah, these white ones don't take as long, thank god. For those white ones I should definitely just be using commandos because I can't stagger it, so that using a Ravenger is pointless, because I think Sarah would still do more damage being a commando. Attack, attack, attack. Yeah, see, that's more damage. I mean, shit, I might as well just try and get to this gate. I want to fight the enemies, though, that, that I come across on, on my way there. I just This video has already lasted long enough. I've, I've had so many videos last long enough. I'm just going to end this one here. So, until next time.